Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Entra Portal. Microsoft Entra Portal, what are the things available in Entra Portal? It is a full walkthrough of Entra Portal. So don't skip the video. Let's check this out. Let's have a quick check at Entra Portal. So in this video, we are going to see Entra Portal walkthrough and what are the customization options over there. We'll discuss about all the nodes in Entra Portal. And what are the differences between classic Azure AD portal and Entra portal? Before going into that, let me give you a quick overview of Microsoft Entra. What is Microsoft Entra? Microsoft Entra is a SaaS solution and it is a IAM product from Microsoft. IAM is nothing but identity and access management. And if you look at this slide, you would be able to see three pillars of Entra. One, two and three identity and access management that is the core one and over there you would be able to see entra id that is azure active directory and then entra id governance and then entra external id these are the solutions available identity and access management in microsoft entra let's talk about new identity categories microsoft entra is adding a lot of new features, new products, new functionalities into Microsoft Entra. Some of them are listed over here. Microsoft Entra verified ID. In this modern world, this is very useful in social media platforms, etc. Entra permission management, that is another feature and it is another identity category that Entra introduced. Microsoft Entra workload ID, that is another identity category which Microsoft Entra introduced the third pillar is network access uh, this is basically identity based identity centric network access protection in a modern world how to control network access for the internet published application for example public SaaS solutions such as office 365 etc and then the social media platforms and all the other internet based applications such as twitter linkedin etc etc to secure that kind of a communication network access Microsoft introduced product called Microsoft Entra Internet Access. Microsoft Entra Private Access is basically for securing network access of private application which should be available or accessible only for the employees of that organization. So that is what called private access. This is the enhanced version of or premium version of Azure AD App Proxy. Entra Private Access is the premium version of Azure AD application proxy so we have discussed all these things what is entra id etc in the previous videos you can click on the i button in youtube to get all these videos so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on these slides key license agreements all these are covered in different videos so let's go into the demo let's do the walkthrough of entra portal so this is the entra portal over here as you can see entra.microsoft.com and you need to log in with your corporate id username and password and probably most of your access is secured via conditional access policy etc etc so this is the new portal for azure ad and all the other products which are related to azure ad azure ad is entra now so we can call it as entra portal and on the left side of the portal you would be able to see different options tabs over there home favorites identity protection identity governance verifiable credentials permission management global secure access and over here you would be able to see learn and support if you want you can hide this left navigation by clicking on this particular button if you hide that navigation then you would be able to see only the icons if you are familiar with icon in entra portal then then we don't need to expand it like this using this button so for example like this now let's look into the themes actually if you want to change the theme of the portal entra portal first of all you need to go into this settings icon and then help me to reach portal settings directories and subscriptions and then if i go to appearance and startup views be able to see different theme options over here 
so if i click on apply it will become a light theme or azure theme and if i click on dark and press apply it will become dark theme so i normally keep it as dark theme if i go back to home you can see different options over here copy title to clipboard if you want print content toggle full screen view etc etc and then over here you would be able to see the username who logged into this particular portal and all the other details so microsoft has created different tiles over here one is microsoft entra id that is azure ad and id protection is the another one id governance you can see over here verified id create issue and verify decentralized identity credentials for secure interactions and then you can see workload secure identities for apps and services and their access to cloud resources permission management discover remediate and monitor permission risk for identity and rescue and you can see internet access and private access as part of global secure access now we have covered the home page change the home page view customize the home page view if i go to favorites and expand that there's nothing over there i have not created any favorites that is why it's not showing over there if i go to identity and if i click on overview you just need to click on the star icon near the overview to add that to the favorites okay now I have set this to favorites because I clicked on this and that is why you can see blue icon. If I remove that, it will be like this. Now I have not added this as a favorite. Let's do that. And then if I go to favorites, you would be able to see one of the favorite that is identity overview. If I go over here and then add one more, for example, all users, then you can see all users under favorites. So that is very neat feature to have a quick access. So I'm going to add this global secure access dashboard into favorites as you can see over here if i click on that it will automatically redirect to this place and it will show the global secure access welcome screen now you know what is favorites and what is home let's go to identities in identities you would be able to see different things because this is one of the core features of microsoft entra that is why a huge list is available for this overview users all users delete users user settings devices applications protection identity governance external identities all these are part of identity that is nothing but intra id or azure ad user experience is there and then hybrid management is there monitoring health is there all these are under identities as name suggests if i go to all users all the users in this particular tenant and then all the new users will be onboarded from this particular place that is called all users all the new users will be created over here and then deleted user option is there and i don't have any deleted users and then user settings option is there so in user settings you would be able to see different user configurations this is a global configuration you would be able to see different things over here audit logs sign in logs diagnose and solve problems etc etc then groups are there in groups you would be able to see different types of groups you can create static groups dynamic groups device groups user groups security groups office 365 related groups etc from here all groups are there deleted groups are there and then group settings if i go to group settings you can see self service group management security groups microsoft 365 groups all those things are here there is another node called devices in devices you would be able to see all the devices over here and then bit locker keys etc if i click on bit locker key you can see more details are available such as enterprise state roaming bit locker local administrator password recovery all those things maybe enterprise state roaming is the another new thing which is microsoft is working on to avoid any roaming profile kind of a solution okay now let's go to the applications the applications you would be able to see applications enterprise application app registration if i click on enterprise application you would be able to see all the default applications or the applications which we create 
created for the automation and enterprise applications will be used as integration point with other SaaS solutions if they are authenticating based on Azure AD credentials. Application proxy is another thing which is nothing but as Azure AD app proxy. If you want your users to use web applications without using VPN or not hosting this web application in DMZ zone, if you want to avoid all these then you can create an application over here and then create a connection server in on-prem and that will have a secured connection back to your web application in on-prem from outside network that is internet as well that is the enterprise application part and if you want to connect your azure ad with citrix you can do this so there are a lot of integrations we are talking about here so you would be able to see graph api integrations and all the other apple business manager integration all those applications are there and integrated with entra id protection in protection you would be able to see identity protection conditional access authentication method password resets custom security attributes risky activities if i go to identity protection be able to see risk factors over here unprotected risky sign-ins identity secure score all those details you would be able to see over here and then over here you would be able to see different things like tutorials diagnose and solve problems user risk policy sign in risk policy as you can see over here risky users different types of reports and those are risky workload all those reports are also available for organizations to use it and then conditional access is there this is similar to azure ad portal the classic one authentication methods you can see over here and then password reset option is there custom security attribute option is there you can see risky activities option over here different reports are there then troubleshooting and support options are there this is all under protection now let's look into identity governance entitlement management is the main one over here under identity governance access reviews privilege identity management life cycle workflows all those are available under identity governance so if i click on this access review you would be able to see packages over here you can search for the packages and then search for the category you can create different types of catalogs over here and then if you go over here you would be able to see external identities over here so this is the part of identity now we have protection in protection identity protection is there conditional access is there and even identity governance also we have already covered access reviews privilege identity management life cycle workflows on time access to resources basically variable credentials are also on left side navigation in entra portal setup overview credentials organization settings etc etc there permission management is another headache useful option in entra so that it can help with zero trust security now let's go to global access preview there are two products in global secure access one is entra internet access and entra private access you can see getting started guide and you would be able to see entra private access internet access etc etc and then this is the same theme as microsoft 365 portal etc there are different options over here devices if i go to devices you can see you need to download global secure access client and install it on windows 11 enterprise or windows 10 enterprise devices dashboard is there remote network is there we need to configure the remote network and then applications are there if i go to applications quick access you would be able to see different version or premium version of azure ad app proxy or entra app proxy solution then enterprise applications you would be able to see global settings session management is there and logging is there secure is another option where you can create policy profiles web filtering policies etc etc traffic forwarding under connect you would be able to see traffic forwarding connections etc and then the monitoring comes into picture you can see the audit logs traffic logs enriched microsoft 365 logs a quick reminder 
of Azure AD Classic Portal over here. Now that you have seen all the details about Microsoft Entra Portal and all the nodes in the Entra Portal, hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.